Hi guys, this is Demo Super Chew with my next installment of Pokemon Sapphire Let's Play. So, skip through all that. Skip through this because this is starting to get really annoying. But hey, it's what you gotta pay for if you're getting a ROM. So, random encounter. And I'm actually just gonna skip out, run away from this because there's no point in fighting. And this game really. It's a Cascoon. It's one of the evolutions of Wurple. And basically, it turns into Dust Stocks, which isn't that good of a Pokemon, so don't recommend it. Alright. So, running. And I particularly like this patch for one Pokemon. I'm gonna see if I can find it. That's obviously not it. Okay, so you can probably hear my bird crying in the background, and if you can, just ignore that. That would make it everything easier. Ah, here's one of the things I want a Taylo. So, here's how you catch Pokemon, basically. Basically, you're gonna take turns attacking, obviously. And you're going to want to hurt it just enough, so that looks like a good amount. So I'm going to use a Pokeball, see what that does. And no AB, left, right, they don't do anything. I know that's been a rumor for the Game Boy games, but they don't do anything. So I got Halo. And... Oh, uh, what should I call it? Um, I don't know what to call this. Um, oh wow. Uh, I guess I'll just call it off the top of my head. And I know you can hear my bird, but that must be really annoying. Its name will be Jim. Don't know where I got that one from, but I really don't care. So I'm gonna use a potion on it, cause I'm gonna actually gonna use it to battle. So so the next battle is actually it probably couldn't defeat, but let's put it in for experience anyway. Let's do a summary on it. So it's lonely, I don't know what that does, but look at that speed, oh my gosh. Peck, growl, ah, uh, whoops. Good moves. I'm just gonna look for one more thing, see if I can find it. And here it is. This is a shroomish, as you can see. And what I really like about it is its next evolved form, which is a Breloom. It's a really good Pokemon. And actually with that so Absorb, I think I could peck it again without killing it. Yep, I was correct. So he absorbs, it's gonna do Actually, quite a lot since it was a critical. But he's in cri um, prime catching place, so let us catch this. So we caught it. Uh, apparently it's toxic, so I will call it. Mm -hmm. Anyway, also, does anyone know which button select is? Because that would have been really helpful.
So yes, I called it you high. So I'm gonna go to my bag, take my last potion, and heal up you high. So next comes oh one probably the most powerful Pokemon you've seen yet. I mean it's a Pokemon you've seen, but probably the most highest level. So go over here and there's this odd looking guy with that Hershey kiss shaped head and he's like, I wanna see Shroomish, which I just caught and here comes Team Aqua with the big A on his head. So you guys got L's on his your heads? He's got an A. This guy is classy. So he wants him to hand over papers because his printer is out of paper, so this guy screams and wants me to protect him, so I'll protect the Hershikish dude because I like his hairdo. But the other guy's a pirate, so I don't know how this will go down. So here's Pirate Man, Team Aqua Grunt, sends out Poochie and a level 9, and I'm lower level, but between Halo and um, Shroomish, I should be able to defeat it. As you can see, I'm not quite absorbing a lot. And by the fact that he went first and then I went, there's obviously a speed tie between us, which is actually pretty decent. And I missed. And he's obviously going to go for this accuracy game. Which really pisses me off. So. I'm just going to keep absorbing and get my health back. Which is really nice. But he needs a more powerful move soon. Okay, I faint because the feet, speed tie just decided not to be nice to me. But that's cool because... Jim is probably more powerful. Yeah, look at that damage he's doing. So he decides to raise his attack, but I'm like, uh, I don't care. I'm Jim. Now he's got basically a sword stance and howls up, so actually I'm not too happy about that. But it doesn't matter. I just knock him out because Jim is just so cool. And the level up. So I defeat Team Aqua Grunt, but I obviously knew that was going to happen because I'm so good. So I got nerve fighting the pirates, but that's okay because I'm a ninja. So I think this guy gives me a great ball because he didn't want to lose his copy papers. That's fine. That is totally fine. And his eyes are the opposite of mine. That's interesting. Brock eyes. Um, I want to see something. Oh, I forgot to check out the nature of this. So we got a timid nature on this. It's not going to be that great. Its speed's going to go up, which is decent, but its attack is going to go down. So I don't know how good that's going to go. Random and Wow, that's rare. This here is a slack off. It is a very interesting Pokemon because it has one of the worst um, abilities in the game. Its ability makes it not be able to attack every other turn. So basically, it's not good. But it's second evolution. Well, it's evolution doesn't get that, but then it's final evolution gets that. But it doesn't matter because it's evolution's got like the stats of Groudon and Kyogre. So it's got its weaknesses and it's got its pluses. So I'm fighting Bug Catcher and he sends out an Inkata, but I really don't care because Jim should be able to two it KO it probably. Maybe not. I guess that's. Nikata is bulky. Well, 
Now he's using Leech Life, which I don't know. Oh, so Ninkata. Ninkata is an interesting Pokemon because it has two evolutions, which if you have a space in your party, an extra Pokeball, it will turn into both of them. Um, the first evolution is very unique for its high, high, high speed. I think only beat by Deoxys Speed Form. I think it's got something like 160 speed. So that's incredible. But then, the other evolution is known for the lowest HP in the game. 1 HP. But, its ability lets it not be able to get hurt by anything except moves that are super effective. So, it's a very interesting Pokemon. But, it's very hard to use in the game, so I'm obviously not going to use it. Alright, ignore all these. And you're going to want to talk to this person here, and he likes spitting out seeds, so he gives you... So he'll teach your Pokemon how to spit seeds, so that's actually very good for my Oddish. Um, Bolt, speed, Bolt Seed basically does 10 damage, but it's hit several times in a row, so that's basically 20 to 50 damage. So that is quite decent. So two cherry berries. Cherry berries will cure paralysis. And we got orange berries and orange berries will, yeah, you know, restore your HP. Now we got a bunch of battles here. I really don't want to fight any of them because. I want to get my shroomish some health, but oh there we go. I really don't have to fight anyone. That's good. Cause now we're gonna make it to Rustboro City. And Rustboro City has a trainer school and a gym. It's the first major city and it's actually kinda nice. So I'm going to heal my Pokemon. And go back outside to fight those trainers that we skipped. I hate doing this. I am sorry about this. It happens to the best of us, you know. So first of all, we got a couple more berries here. We have Lepa berries, which I think those restore PP, but I might be wrong. Now we have cherry berries, which I obviously said restore paralysis. So yeah, that's good. I'm just going to make sure. All right, that's good. Talk to this guy, and he's a battler, so let's see what he's got. Three Pokemon, okay, just ma Magikarp. For you, those of you that don't know Magikarp, it's literally the worst Pokemon out there. Um, even when it does learn attacking moves, Tackle and Flail, it is not a good Pokemon. Right now it only knows Splash, which doesn't do anything. However, if you go through the patience of training a Magikarp to level 20, it will evolve into a Gyarados, which is arguably one of the better Pokemon in the games. It's a great Pokemon to use, especially in the 4th generation. Fortunately, I already have a water type, so I'm not going to be training one of these. So this guy's just gonna have all Magikarps, so that's gonna be boring. Yeah, no, 